Dr. Shan Yang. Mr. Speaker, thank you for the opportunity to take a call on the first reading of Honorable Damien O'Connor's Dairy Industry Restructuring Amendment Bill No. 2. Mr. Speaker, this bill requires that Fonterra must ensure that the new COP fund established as a result of the recent Dairy Industry Restructuring Act does not comprise more than 20% of total number of cooperative shares. The bill then says that if the 20% limit is reached, Fonterra must stop the sale of shares into the new COP fund and proceed to reduce the proportion of shares in the new COP fund to below the 20% limit within 90 days. Mr. Speaker, there is no need to change the existing Dairy Industry Restructuring Act because it delivers a transparent and efficient dairy market. It has enabled Fonterra to progress with its capital restructuring proposal that's trading amongst farmers while ensuring that farmers retain their current ability to freely enter and exit Fonterra at a fair price. So it is up to Fonterra shareholders to decide what limit they want on the fund. And they have decided they currently have a constitutional limit of 25%. Mr. Speaker, this member's bill seeks to make a minor change to a complex piece of legislation. The issue was deliberated in the committee stage of the Dairy Industry Restructuring Amendment Bill, which became act in July last year. The issue was only supported by Labour and New Zealand First. Even the Greens did not support it. So, Mr. Speaker, the bill wants the government to interfere in the operational running of Fonterra. We do not support this approach. The Fonterra farmers and shareholders voted for the 25% limit, and so we should not oppose their wishes. Mr. Speaker, National is proud of the success of our primary sector, and we are proud of championing our farmers and growers. So I will not be supporting this bill. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker. Mr. O'Connor, in reply. Mr. Speaker, in summary, this bill seeks to put into legislation what...